Hi, Jeremy Cordo in the Court of Public Opinion. I'm just on air here to let you know that we'll be live streaming the Court of Public Opinion every Friday between 9 o'clock and 12 on jeremycordo.com. Please join us. We'd love to have you. She's made a name for herself within the Australian comedy scene, having set herself as a formidable piece within our entertainment industry. With sold-out comedy acts and television stardom under her belt, now she's taken the huge role of being the host for one of Australia's most nostalgic and praised improvisational comedy shows. Thank God you're here. To give us a bit of a glimpse into what happens behind the blue doors, we're joined by the extraordinarily talented Celia Pacola. Celia, good morning. Oh my gosh. What an intro. Can I call you every day just to feel good about myself? <laughs> hey, we can, be, we, can, we can be your personal uh, hype people everywhere you I, go. The supermarket, yes, <laughs> the shops. Yes, please. Great choice of banana, Celia. <laughs> that looks ripe. But uh, Celia, it's, uh, it's uh, a pleasure to have you on uh, our show. And we have to ask, you know, thank God you're here is such a huge piece of Australian television culture, as we said um, did you feel the pressure at all taking on such a huge role? Uh, how have you found it all? Oh, 100%. Oh, my gosh. I'm a fan from back in the day. I was actually in the audience for the last season 14 years ago wow. when I just started comedy. So it means a lot to me. And I'm one of those people as well. As whenever they do a reboot of something that I loved, I'm like, why? Just leave it alone, you know? Just It was good. What if you, what if you ruin it? That kind of thing. So I was very much feeling the pressure. But more than that, I was just excited that it was coming back. Yeah. So I was like... If, it, if hosting it means I get to be have a front row seat every time, um, then I'll do it. And also, the show's not really about me at all. So I did go, I is it possible for me to ruin it? I don't think so. My <laughs> job is generally, I, I just point to the door and then it's, and then it's that's my job done. So very much, I jumped at the chance to host. Well, well, speaking of, I mean, it has been a fantastic series so far, but you have seen, you spent a lot of episodes watching everyone sort of go through the big blue door. Are you ever going to do it or you just always be the one pushing them into the worst circumstance ever. Well, season finale. I'm not saying we're doing some special things, but maybe I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm absolutely. <laughs> not <laughs> yeah, sure. um, I know. I look. To be honest, before it started, I was like, it's my worst nightmare to do it, and I, I'm so terrified of it. But having watched it, it looks like so much fun. Every mm. person who's come off has gone. That was incredible. I want to do it again. But unfortunately. I have crossed the line into unable. I'm not allowed to go through the door. Has, has mm. anyone come out of the doors and said, uh, eh, didn't like that? The comedians, that, I mean, often classic overthinkers. And you can imagine with something like this, you just go, oh, I should have said that. You know, your mind yeah, is sure. continually racing. So a couple of people have just gone, oh, they just look like they're computing it. But honestly, and I would tell you, no one's come off and gone, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Silly, do you have a most memorable contestant from this season? I, I remember episode one with Mark Bonanno in it. Like, I just thought he was made for something like this. But is it who's been your favourite contestant thus far? Well, look, Luke McGregor is my actual best friend in the real world. So yeah. watching him be dressed up like Jon Snow in Game of Thrones um, and, you know, had real fire going off in his face was like it was my birthday. Um, but possibly Virginia Gay going through the door on a bicycle that I yeah. was told explicitly not to let her get on and she just <laughs> rode a bike through the door and then proceeded to carry a pregnant woman through the scene. That's a, honestly, if you're going to watch one, that's the one where I would start. She just blew everyone's minds with how incredible she was. I mean, speaking of people that have crushed her, you've had a bunch of, thank God you hear, veterans return uh, to the blue door, people that have been on it when it was in its first run. Are there any people you're still hoping will get the tap on the shoulder that were on it previously? I mean, I've loved the choices that they've made so far because it's been a real good mix of newcomers and exciting comedians who were in high school when it was on last time. For me, Frank Woodley is one that I would love to see go back through the door, mm. um, who we haven't had as yet, and Sean McCarlis. Oh, yeah. But, you know, we've had... The fact that Hamish came back and Ross Noble were the two two of the other big ones. And Julia Zamira, the fact that we've had her twice, has been a real treat. I mean, hopefully, and we can't wait. And we can't wait to see this all-star team smash it out tonight. You can tune in to Thank God You're Here on 10 and 10 Play. Celia Picola, you have been such a pleasure to chat to. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, and the hype continues right to the end. I love it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Bye. Hi, Jeremy Cordo in the Court of Public Opinion. I'm just on air here to let you know that we'll be live streaming the Court of Public Opinion 
every Friday between 9 o'clock and 12 on jeremycordo.com. Please join us. We'd love to have you.